Hey, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For today's lesson, we're going to continue to talk about organizing data. Today, we're going to organize data using tape diagrams, and we're very familiar with tape diagrams from when we were learning with multiplication and division, but today we're going to use them in kind of a different way. So let's see what our learning goal is. Our learning goal says I can rotate tape diagrams to make vertical tape diagrams. So friends, we're very used to making tape diagrams that are horizontal, that go from side to side. Well, today we're going to flip them on their side and we're going to make them vertical and go up and down. And we're going to be able to use this lesson to help us make connections to another type of graph that we're going to learn about in an upcoming lesson. So let's jump in and get started. So first we need to work on an application problem. This is going to set up our whole lesson for today. So here's our problem. It says, Raisha played in three basketball games. She scored 12 points in game one, eight points in game two, and 16 points in game three. Each basket that she made was worth two points. She uses tape diagrams with a unit size of two to represent the points she scored in each game. How many total units of two does it take to represent the points she scored in all three games? So I don't know about you friends, but when I read that problem, I think, holy cow, they're giving me so much information. So I wanna look back in the problem and I wanna see what is this problem really asking me? So the question is saying, how many total units of two does it take to represent the points she scored in all three games? So in order for me to do that, I'm gonna make tape diagrams for each one of the games. So game one, game two, and game three. And now let's look back at the problem. We'll start with game one. So how many points did she score in game one, friends? Yeah, she scored 12. So the problem was telling me that each basket was worth two points. So we're gonna draw our tape diagram with a unit size of two. So all that means is that each part of our tape diagram is going to be worth two. So we know that we're going to count by twos because each unit is two, and we're trying to get to 12 because she scored 12 points. So I would draw my tape diagram like this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And here I've drawn 12 points in my tape diagram. What I want you guys to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to draw a tape diagram that matches the number of points she scored in game two. How many points did she score in game two, friends? Eight. So go ahead and draw your tape diagram that represents her eight points that she scored in game two. And remember, we're using the unit two for each one of our squares in our tape diagram. So pause the video. Draw your tape diagram for game two, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Also friends, while you're at it, why don't you draw the same tape diagram that I did for game one, and make sure you're labeling it game one, and then draw your tape diagram game two, draw your tape diagram just like I did here. So go ahead and do that for game one and two, and click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here's what I came up with my tape diagram. So I know that we need eight total points in game two, so I'm going to draw units of two, and I'm gonna count by two every time I add a unit until I get to eight. So two, four, six, eight. And there's my eight points. Does your tape diagram look like mine? All right, if it does, awesome. If not, just take another look at how I made those. We have eight points and they're units of two, so I'm gonna count by two until I get to eight. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and I want you to try and draw your tape diagram that matches and represents the points she scored in game three. Remember, she scored 16 points in game three. So go ahead, pause the video, draw your tape diagram, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, here we go. So units of two, counting till I get to 16. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So there's my 16 points. So here I've represented the number of points she scored in game one, game two, and game three. So let's go back to the question where it says, how many total units of two does it take to represent 
the points she scored in all three games. So how many units of two did I draw for game one? Six units. Notice here, friends, one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, and six units. How many units did she score in game two? Four units. Awesome. And how many units did she score in game three? You got it. Eight units. So now to be able to answer this question, I have to add up how many units I have right there. So you guys can go ahead and add six plus four plus eight. All right, so how many total units, friends? 18. The way that I solved this super quick in my head was I knew that six and four made 10 and 10 plus eight is 18. So it will take 18 total units to represent the points she scored in all three games. Okay, so now I've taken this and I've taken out my problem and I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit so it's just less for us to look at. Now we talked about how we're very used to drawing tape diagrams that go horizontally from side to side like this. Well, I wanna rotate it vertically so they go up and down. Well, well look, now my tape diagram goes up and down and vertically. Okay, so in our previous lesson, we talked about picture graphs. Today, we're talking about vertical tape diagrams. So I wanna ask you, how are these vertical tape diagrams similar to the picture graphs that you made in the previous lesson? So this is an example right from your problem set. How are these similar to each other? So go ahead and pause the video and think about that for a minute. I can think of a few ways that these are similar to each other. So pause the video and think about it. And then when you're ready to talk about it, click play. All right, friends. So here's a couple ways that I came up with how they're similar. Well, they're both showing data, right? The top um, vertical tape diagrams are showing about the number of points that she scored. The picture graph is showing the favorite colors. So those are two different types of data that we collected. Each unit represents two points, right? Or two units. So the heart, each heart represents two students and each unit in the tape diagram represents two. And then they both have a value of more than one for each one of their units. So those are just some of the things that I came up with on how they're similar. So now I want you to think about how are the tape, vertical tape diagrams different from the graphs, picture graphs that we made in the previous lesson. So pause the video and think about that and click play when you're ready to go over and talk about it together. Okay friends, here's one of the ways that I came up with how they're different from each other. The tape diagram is connected, but the picture graph, uh, but in the picture graph, the pictures are separate from each other. So they're not connected, okay? So you have a little space in between. So I know that seems like a really simple difference, but it is a difference between these two things. And then another way is the units in the tape diagram are labeled, okay? So they're labeled right in there where I have two inside each unit. But in the picture graph, the value of each unit is shown on the bottom of the graph. So it's not giving me a two inside each heart. You're having to look at the label at the bottom or the key that's explaining the value. Okay, so those are just two ways that they're different from each other. Maybe you came up with some other ways. Okay, so we're going to look at the data for game one, and we're going to write a multiplication equation to show the value of game one's tape diagram. So what do you guys think? Just look at game one, point at game one. What do you think could be a multiplication equation to match that? Yeah, six times two, because there's six units of two. Let's write a title on our vertical tape diagrams to show or to help others understand our data. 
So when they're looking at it, they need to know what does that data represent. So what does this data that we've collected in our vertical tape diagram, what does it show us? What do you guys think? What is it showing us in just this vertical tape diagram? Yeah, it's showing us the points that Risha scores. Okay, so that's a simple way that you could label that. Remember how yesterday we labeled our um, picture graphs as favorite colors? Okay, so it doesn't have to be a sentence. You want something quick and short that just explains what your data is. So let's kind of look at this a little bit differently. Suppose each unit has a value of four points instead of two points. How many units should I draw to represent Raisha's points in game one? And then how do you know? So here's with a value of two. How can I draw the same number of points, but the value is four this time? So think about here, friends. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So I have 12 total points, but instead of doing it with a value of two points, I'm gonna do it with a value of four. So let's draw this in a different way with values of four. Each unit has a value of four. So I could go, I'm trying to get to 12. So my first unit is four. So four, eight, 12. I'm gonna count by fours, okay? I could write the multiplication sentence of three times four to represent that, and that's one way I could know that. I could also know that the total number of points is 12, and if I divide it by four, I'm gonna end up with three. So that's another way that I could explain how I figured that out. So we're gonna do the same thing now, but we're gonna do it with game two. So instead of a, the unit having a value of two, the unit is gonna have a value of four. So I want you to pause the video and I want you to draw what the tape diagram, the vertical tape diagram, I should say, would look like with a value of four for each unit. Remember in game two, there's two, four, six, eight total points. So what's that gonna look like with the unit as a value of four? So go ahead and pause the video, draw your tape diagram, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, here's what I came up with. So it's the, each unit has a value of four and I'm trying to get to eight. So four, eight. That one was kind of an easy one, right? So I could explain that of knowing if eight divided by four is two, so I would have two parts. I could say that I know that four times two is eight. That's how I could get my two parts. So there's different ways you could explain how you solved it. All right, so here's another way. Or here's another example. We're gonna take game three, okay? Which game three, I believe, had 16. Let's count it. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, it did. 16 total points scored in game three. She was on fire in game three, okay? So now I wanna redraw my vertical tape diagram using the unit value of four. So go ahead and click pause draw your vertical tape diagram with a unit value of four and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay friends, here's what I came up with. So I am going to count by fours until I get to 16 because she had 16 total points in game three. So four, eight, 12, 16. I know that 16 divided by four is four so that gives me my four parts. Or I could say that four times four is 16. Okay, so awesome job with that one, friends. All right, guys, nice work today creating vertical tape diagrams. Remember, it's the same thing as drawing them horizontally. We're just flipping them and making them go up and down um, vertically. So remember, this is going to be an awesome skill that's gonna help us with some upcoming lessons on different ways to represent our data. So great job. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.